Hello everyone. It's James again. And before I start today's short video, I just want to quickly say. All work in this video contains 100% original content of and by myself James Smith, otherwise known as Bigood4000, and was uniquely created with normal software, by myself James Smith. As I purchased commercial rights from Normal to produce my unique and original video with this software. Commentary is uniquely my own thoughts, feelings, and expressions. Now that I have that out of the way. I do hope your day is going way better than fantastic. And your journey to self-betterment is going way better than fantastic as well. Today. I wanted to again keep it short. But on the topic of slowing things down. Here's something for you to look at and observe and think about. Those of us that are narcissistic abuse survivors. We may have needed help with a great many things in our lives. Because the truth of the matter is. If we or you grew up in a home with a narcissist parent or parents. You were likely not to. Equipped to handle life and its many challenges. Because a parent that truly loves you knows this world can be and is often cruel and unforgiving. And no matter if they are financially poor themselves. They try their best to prepare you to be able to take the best care of yourself as humanly possible. So you don't have to ask strangers for help. And the truth is this is the role of family. To be a hedge of protection against the cruel world we are living in. Have you had friends that grew up in pretty solid homes? And it seemed that most if not all of their needs were met. It seemed like they never had a problem. Well the fact is. They did have problems. Everyone has them. No matter if they are financial. Emotional. Educational. Work related. So forth and so on. But here's the thing. They didn't have to burden you or the outside world with their problems. Because they had a family to go to. I've seen before where even in a financially poor family. The brothers and sisters. And mother and father would pool their money together to make sure one of their siblings would have a certain thing that would benefit them long term. Such as helping them get their books for school. Or to be able to afford to go to basketball camp. Again. Family is a hedge of protection or supposed to be a hedge of protection against the scam artists and toxic evil people looking for a stray lone person. Wandering around without direction needing help. Well most of us have been taken by such people. But even then. We don't like burdening other people with our problems. So much so we refrain from telling people our issues. And if someone does offer to help with this or that. We feel so bad about it. We are right there rolling up our sleeves. Trying to be a part of the process. And not letting this person just help us by themselves. But what about the narcissists? The narcissist will oftentimes pull this card within the first six months of knowing them. To make sure you are a dedicated helper. And that you will put their needs before your own. Here's the thing. It's okay to help people. It's perfectly okay to be giving and kind. But also as the Bible teaches us to be discerning. And one way you can be discerning is to not jump into superhero mode and take the entire problem on as your own. See if you can walk them through the problem where they can help themselves with your guidance. Instead of you doing it all yourself. Because here's the big important thing. Narcissists 9 times out of 10 are running the same game on someone else. Or several other people. And what they are looking for is who will jump through their hoops the best and who will be the best and most compliant people pleaser. If you are kind and helpful. But you are helping them help themselves. And all of a sudden they stop talking about a certain problem. And it magically got resolved. Then you know there is a good chance someone else solved it for them. So this goes back to taking a step back. Think about yourself. Don't you want to be part of the process of the help? Yes. You sure do. And you will be happy to do what is needed to help yourself. So why is it? When you are being kind and helpful for someone else. But you are helping them help themselves. They disappear. Or they no longer need your help. 
well it's a good chance they never needed your help to begin with. It's a good chance they found someone else to dance to the beat. And that ain't you. So be helpful yes. But be careful and discerning at the same time. Because this is a narcissist's top trick they use. To pretend to need your help. To see if you will be a people pleaser. And if you will ignore your own life and what is right. To take on a problem that when you really think about it could be resolved with them doing many things to be a part of the process. Well that's all I have for today. I do hope your day is blessed. And until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.